It is a gorgeous Canada Day in the city, and what better place to be than in one of Toronto's most beautiful landmarks, the Scarborough Bluffs. But getting to this park is no easy feat, and area residents are getting fed up with the unending streams of traffic in their neighbourhood. I've lived here for about four years, and I've seen it grow exponentially, the numbers going down there, and especially uh, due to COVID, I guess a lot of things are closed, so everybody's kind of rushed yeah. down there. The hot, sunny holiday has brought thousands to the park and beach to enjoy Canada Day. But parking at lake level is very limited, so visitors wind up leaving their cars on nearby streets and hoofing at sometimes long distances down to the water. We calculated almost two kilometers from the top of the steep, windy hill. Then they have to climb back up again. The traffic has been an issue in the area for years, but this year, thanks to the pandemic, it's worse than ever. It's crazy with the whole COVID situation, but I guess people have been cooped up for too long, so yeah. they need a way out. Because the parking down, down there is, is, is too packed. How long do you think it's going to take you to get from your car down to the beach? Probably like half an hour, 25 minutes. Yeah. Around now. Not too bad of a walk. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice day. Residents say it's not just the volume of traffic and people, but that some drivers lack consideration. They're speeding. People park in homeowners' driveways and sometimes even give up on the walk down the hill and picnic on their front lawns. I can't even go out to run errands. Sometimes it takes me 40 minutes to get up my street uh, because people have double parked. Uh, people walk in the middle of the roads. Um, they're sitting on my front lawn with their <laughs> their blankets and, and, and everything. Yeah, it's it's actually it's really it's really crazy. I've never seen anything like it. The councillor for the area agrees this year is especially busy because of COVID, which brings with it another problem, littering. There's a huge amount of litter that is taking place, not only down at the park, but on the top of the bluffs due to COVID and the fact that people want to get out. So we actually had to put in very stronger um, restrictions. Crawford says while the city wants everyone to enjoy the natural beauty of the bluffs, officials have had to take steps to control these problems while ensuring public safety by imposing turning restrictions, putting in bus service to encourage the use of public transit, and this year have even gone as far as stationing police officers at two intersections at the top of the hill to control traffic volume. So when, when the park is full, they call up to the intersection at Brimley and Kingston Road, and they stop traffic from actually going down into the park uh, until there's such a time that there's actually uh, space available. Some area residents think they have some ideas how to mitigate the traffic problems. One suggested the city should book times for people to visit and possibly charge a fee. Another said she'd like to see the surrounding streets blocked off to prevent parking on them altogether. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.